Hi, welcome to back to Wise Monkey. We'll uh, show you the reason of overheating wheels after you drive the car. If you find that uh, one or some of your wheels overheating, so you touch the touch the wheel and it's hot compared to the other ones. So in this vehicle, we find the front left one is uh, overheating because uh, the other ones are not hot. So <clears throat> put the wheel locks and jack the car up. The side that's uh, overheating, you have to take it off the ground. Here we uh, took the inter front off the ground. Now, the ones that are okay, like this one, easily, easily moves. Now, the one that doesn't work is this one that doesn't move at all it's off the off the ground doesn't move moves it a lot of force and it hits up the reason is if there is no other humming noise or other noise when you are driving that means the wheel bearing is okay most likely the reason is either seized caliper or the slider Sliders for the caliper could be a CS2. That's a common problem with the Hondas actually. The sliders go wrong. Uh, usually garage would say that it's the enter caliper that needs to be see, uh, replaced, which is a lot of work. We'll take this uh, off. We'll take the sliders out, regrease it. I had to actually do that uh, for this vehicle with uh, the rear uh, left wheel. Now the front one went. Okay, so jack it up and take the wheel off the wheel is off now and so use a 12 12 millimeter to take this uh, caliper off there's one here one at the bottom here take this out and see this is the sliders they should be should be moving back and forth there is absolutely no movement so i'm pretty sure it's not the piston that's uh, seized it's the slider that's seized right here i'll show you how to install a new slider kit to remove the caliper after you take the bolts off just use the flat head and pry it right here you already took it out make sure it doesn't uh, hang by the brake line it's gonna it's gonna break right there so we'll actually take it out and put it on a on this stand so it doesn't uh, kink there now <clears throat> this is a slider kit two boots and the pins and bolts when you uh, do this kind of work remember to put the jack stand on don't rely on the hydraulic jack it can collapse anytime has killed many people before we found the top slider was working fine actually but the bottom was seized this one wouldn't move we managed to move it if you manage to move it you can take it out and lubricate it with grease and if it's possible use the same one but i don't recommend because it doesn't last long it could be also the seized piston right here now you can slightly break as this one comes out push it in and see if it if, it, if it's gonna go in or not usually use a c clamp to push it in when you push it in remember to release the bleeding port slightly so the pressure can be released right here instead of going into the ABS because that's going to damage the ABS okay took the old ones out There's, they are actually uh, good enough I took them out lubricated them with uh, grease and so now it goes back and forth nicely if you put the new ones in remember one of them has a notch here it's a plastic uh, i mean a rubber ring that goes around it 
the bottom one which was uh, more seized up is nice and smooth now now I'm gonna slightly touch the brake to see if this piston comes out or not if it's seized then I uh, have to replace the caliper or rebuild this piston it's better to replace the whole thing if it's old caliper came in with slight touch it came in nicely so it looks like uh, caliper is fine we'll push it back and reinstall the whole thing don't forget to share and please subscribe that helps for many more how-to videos don't forget to check if it's moving nice after you do the fix <coughs> As you can see here, it's, uh, now it's starting to <coughs> work right. Okay, so hope this uh, saves uh, some money. Please uh, subscribe and share. Thanks.